a shocking number that is on top growing constantly is the number of people that struggle like I did for a very long time with gut issues. In the US, I think a statista says it's 22%. In the European Union, it's 21%. In Brazil, it's 19 And actually, the unreported number is probably much, much, much higher. Hola! Hey, and welcome to a new, super cool and interesting video about blue poo. Yes, you heard right. A blue poo is a little bit of a taboo topic to talk about poo, but I think Things are slowly changing and actually it's very important because it's not only super interesting but you can also learn a lot about the health of one of the most important organs in your body. I want to be there for you and with my channel I want to make this taboo topic a little bit less taboo and with my story tell you that you're not alone and you should reach out and you can help yourself and you can heal yourself. I structured this video into four sections. First of all, we're gonna speak about what is the blue poo challenge. Thereafter, we're gonna dive into why it matters and why it's important and why you should care about it. Then we talk about how you take the blue poo test, which is something for yourself at home without any equipment needed, but blue food coloring. And lastly, I'm gonna share my thoughts and my learnings about my poo experience. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay here and we're gonna dive into it right now. So what is the Blue Poo Challenge? The Blue Poo Challenge is a free test that you can make at home, developed by the researchers of Zoe Nutrition, an amazing UK-based research team and personalized nutrition platform. The test measures the bowel transit time, which is the time it takes food from eating it through the digestive system, the whole process from start to finish. And why does the bowel transit time actually matter? Well, the researchers found out that the bowel transit time tells you more about your gut health and the diversity of your gut than your pooing frequency and the visual look of your poo. In other words, this test can be a wonderful first indicator of the health state of your gut, in which trillions of bacteria, fungi, and many other microbes live support your immune system, your cardiovascular health, and all the other important processes in our body that are needed to keep us happy and healthy. I always think of our gut microbiome as this wonderful blossoming garden, like in the spring or in the summer where you look into a garden and everything is growing, everything is blossoming. This is what a healthy gut microbiome looks like. There's a good balance of different kinds of plants that support each other and give you at the end of the summer or during throughout the whole summer an amazing harvest. This is how the inside of your gut actually looks like given the gut is healthy. And if our gut is healthy, our immune health works properly, our digestion works properly, which doesn't for a lot, a lot of people out there, including myself for a very long time. And we have a very good functioning system that can fight all the toxins that we face on a daily basis. On the contrary, if our garden doesn't look good, if there's an imbalance between healthy bacteria and bad bacteria, our system breaks down. And we see that in immune responses and allergies and digestive issues and all the other symptoms we all know that are connected to bad gut health. So why should you take the test? Well, it's free or almost free. You only need the blue food coloring it's super fun, in my opinion, and you get an understanding or first indication of the health status of your gut. And I think taking control over your personal health is sort of a responsibility we have. Doctors have a lot to do out there. They uh, only have two hands and 24 hours and the health system in many, many, many countries doesn't work properly. So it's in our own hands and we should do what we can to keep ourselves happy not only for ourselves, but also as a responsibility to society overall to give back with all our smarts, our talents and our capabilities. So as I know that you're now super excited on taking the Blue Poo Challenge, let me tell you what you need to do. You basically only need to bake something with blue icing color. I'm gonna link you... no not here. I'm going to share in the video notes the blue icing color that I bought in Germany and I'm going to also link a few other pages where you can get it worldwide. It's super easy accessible. I bought it online, came within a few days and that's literally the only ingredient. The blue poo challenge 
go-to recipe are muffins and i link you the recipe from zoe in the notes below but if you don't like muffins if you want to make another recipe if you can't eat gluten then you could also make a blue food scramble you can make a a pancake whatever you feel like important is that you add the blue food coloring and you that you add sufficient blue food coloring because if you use too little and you don't eat enough of it there's nothing to see later that's the only thing you need to keep in mind but other than that bake whatever you feel like prepare it and take your test okay here we go let's do this i already baked them yesterday but i'm gonna have them now and then we'll see how it goes with the bowel movement Since I mostly eat gluten-free now, I haven't had a muffin in quite some time, but it's good. Mm. And my tongue is turning blue. Okay, I'm gonna finish my two muffins and then I see you and talk to you in a bit. Okay, hello back. So my muffin has moved through my body and my bowel movement time is actually fairly good. It's in the norm. It's 23 hours and something. I uh, put the results into the so website, which I promise you I link in the notes below. You can check it and there you put in all your data. You have to answer a couple of questions, including um, height, weight, um, some dietary and personal questions. And then you get your customized, personalized feedback sent by email. It's super interesting. I personally uh, was very glad to figure out that my bowel now works properly after such a long time of suffering. And I, you know, you know, you feel it. I'm, I'm great. I have no more symptoms in the moment. Of course, I'm doing my best and I take care of my gut daily. I have so many videos on all the things I do and I will share more going forward. Um, one of the essentials in my diet is actually also fasting, which is not non-dieting, uh, non-eating. I uh, eat a lot of ferments, I eat a lot of greens, prebiotics, and together with the probiotics, the fermented foods, I try to do everything to keep my gut uh, microbiome as diverse as possible and do everything to make sure I stay healthy. And now it's your turn to take the soy test if you like if you're also curious to see uh, and measure at home your bowel movement time i'm super curious and would be super grateful if you comment below if you want me to share more of those health hacks biohacking experiments i'm super into all of that i wear a glucose monitor um, every once in a while and do a bunch of other experiments hoping to improve my health with that so if you're curious about all the things they do comment below and let me know if you want me to share more videos about my health experiments with all of that thank you like always for watching for staying here for being interested in the content i hope it helped you and inspired you in the journey of understanding your gut a little bit better of feeling better of getting active and doing something for your health if you like this video you would make me the happiest if you support it with a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel this would help me to bring you more videos going forward and always good karma in your cookie karma cookie jar i love you tons and i see you in the next video bye by the way the measured average bowel movement transit time during the study it was 28.7 hours but it ranged from 12 to up to several several days so you just take your test you analyze it in the online SOE platform and you take this information to your health practitioner